So let's get started. Now we're doing this escape sequence. The escape sequence is not that hard, but it can be. But then obviously there's another boss at the end, and again, everyone really should know this by now, so it's not much of a spoiler. But uh, in case you don't know, there's one more boss at the end, and that boss at the end particularly killed me so many times, and the problem with getting killed in this section, in the, in the so many times in that fight, is you have to redo this section again. The entire countdown section again, which was really what cost me most of my three hours, was repeatedly doing this section over and over again. Also, Zelda can just run over uh, pits. She doesn't care. I just get hit crushed by Boulder right there. Would have gotten crushed there too. And so there's nothing really interesting on here. We're just running around, but there's two particular obstacles um, that usually get me killed. Mostly because I'm just rushing and trying to get back to the Ganon fight. Oops. Don't worry about it, I'm fine. Yeah, so all of these doors are locked and she just unlocks them. And then all of a sudden, she moves on her own and, you know, that Link is confused. And all of a sudden, she's on fire and I'm pretty sure she can dispel that easily. But we're blocked by Stalfos. And uh, these Stalfos are a little bit different. Um, you have to kill both of them within a recent amount of time, otherwise the other one gets back up. But luckily the time frame for that is kind of generous. Luckily this one is a jumper, so you know, it was much easier. And then she gives you hearts or rupees depending uh, if you took damage. Since I took no damage, I got rupees. Not that I need rupees because I don't need rupees. And there's also no reason to have these rupees because when you beat the game it takes you to the title screen. And you don't get any of this. There's also one more thing I'll need to do. There was another fun fact about this run. Is I had to do this whole battle twice in my previous run. Because there's a glitch in this emulator for the credits. Uh, the credits don't work. But uh, there, I do have a fix for it. And uh, I'll be, I have to make sure to apply it before I delete defeat Ganon. So... Make sure that. Ouch. Every time I get hit, she gasps. Yeah, actually, the boulders do uh, half, which I'm doing really good and I get hit by him. But there's this one part right here up ahead that keeps getting me. That guy. That redead right there. You don't know how many times I get caught by this guy. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure, even though I did well on this run escape sequence the first time, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to do it again. It's just it's just going to happen. And this area right here is very narrow, and it's really easy to get hit by the falling boulders, but I kind of got lucky, and, and look, we escaped. I'm really selling myself short here. I could beat Ganon on my first try, which would be a great way to end this series. But, um, because Ganon honestly didn't kill me that many times when I had my previous run. It was really just the skate sequence and that redead. I kept getting killed by the Stalfos, too. And boulders. Ganon killed me a good amount of times, but mostly it was redoing the entire save sequence over and over again that got me frustrated. And then the, when I was super frustrated, I just couldn't play right, and then Ganon kept beating me that way. But this time... I'm much more happier, I'm much more ready, and that's not going to happen. Also, I feel a lot better in playing games than I did when I was playing them two years ago. Now I play games to have fun and to torture myself, and I don't even mind because I know what I'm doing is all my fault, and I don't care. And I talked during that whole castle collapse, and look, it's over. We won. Hey, Ray. We're happy standing on this little cliff. Because we're totally safe standing on this cliff. I mean, right before I begin, look, we're we're really over a cliff. We can't even get back to the castle, which is kind of funny. Also, the pathway to the castle is not even there. We're literally on a barren cliff. Anyway, you walk over here and, you know, surprise. 
a giant firewall, which again, Zelda can't do anything about, but yet can open gates with no problem, comes out. But, you know, video game logic, don't deny it. They needed to do something. No one really cares about it. I don't even care about it. It's a video game. You don't question it. And he transforms into a very thing that really taunt, uh, scared me when I was a kid. Also, this battle was super hard when I was a kid. Because each attack does four hearts. And I think that even does four hearts when you have to double health. So it means you, his attacks actually do like eight hearts. But since I only have three, I'm dead anyway. Alright, so now right here we start right close to him. So this battle is not that hard. I mean, no, no, what am I saying? Yes, it's very hard actually. You need to hit the tail in the back. And the problem with hitting the tail in the back is I can't. You have to... I'm panicking actually. I'm trying to remember how I'm supposed to do this. Because even when I get the sword back it's not easy. Okay, that's one way to do it. That's one way to do it. So you want to hit the tail. You can hit the tail with basically anything, but I think the light arrows do the most damage. Well, so does the Begoron sword, but you know, I don't have that. I guess the tail running under does work. For, for some reason, when I kept doing it, it didn't work. Okay, this is starting to become really easy. I think this phase is 10 hits. Wow, game, really? Thanks. Okay, I'm starting to feel like the eye arrows are doing absolutely nothing. And I'm really just wasting all my magic. Yeah, this isn't doing anything. I should not stop using my light arrows. And use the long shot, because that's much more effective. Alright. We did it. The Master Sword is here. Hurry. Man, I really learned from my previous mistakes. Also, I'm like much better gamer than I was two years ago. So this is like not as hard. But of course, this battle is not even easy either. Having the... Master Sword back doesn't make it any easier. Although I got a cheap hit, so I'm kind of happy. Ah! Crap. Hesitated. Oh, nice. All that magic. Okay. I apparently did not use the let's roll under the legs method because this is really working. I did not realize. Well, I heard a lot of people say, you should use the tail method. And by a lot of people telling me that, I mean, I looked it up on the internet. When they said, you know, how do you beat Ganon? When I was looking up, like, how to fix... Oh, crap. How? What happened? How did I not die? That was supposed to be a one-hit kill. I only took a half and a heart or something. I don't know. No, I have taken damage before. I took damage... I think I timed my roll just perfectly where I took no damage from the fall. Okay, he's getting faster. I need to be I need to pay attention to that. Oh, that's it. Look at that. I beat the game. Well, I wouldn't say I beat the game yet. Oh no, she's tired. My sword becomes blue, which does absolutely nothing, and then I pause the game because I'm done. Ah ha ha, I have to do something real fast, hold on. Okay, I did everything that I believe I needed to do, so we're gonna hope this works. And, you know, save the game, because why not? And there we go. Super stab in the face.
Yeah, everyone shows up now. Yay. You. I love this line. <laughs> curse you, Zelda. Curse you, Sages. All caps rage. Except for my name. <laughs> Foreshadowing. Okay, so now we're in this scene at the end and right after this scene is where the glitch happens or the game just crashes so uh, hopefully this works and we'll know I don't know but I put a save state down so just in case uh, something goes wrong I can't believe I beat the game You should do it anyway, it's not your version. for a butchered song. No. Oh, the popping's not that bad. Sometimes it adds like a little extra beat to it. Now we ascend into the heavens. Alright, hopefully this, you know, works, I guess. Alright, it worked. Alright, credits began, and we're safe, and the credits working, and yeah. And that means the game is over, and I'm officially done, and I put my controller down. I already did, though, technically. But yeah, that is uh, that is it. That is The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Master Quest. Three heart run with many other restrictions added on for fun measure. I'm really sorry I had to do this. It took me this long to do it. Because again, I lost my computer and it was finished and I was gonna I was working on editing and uploading everything and then my computer died on me and I was unable to get my stuff back. I had to start everything over and I it took me a long time before I could finally get the time. And then when I started doing all my other projects and decided to revive my channel, I was like, I should try to finish my my project my original my first project because I don't want my very first project public let's play to be incomplete that's not right so I work it I worked on it and played through the whole game again suffering many many deaths along the way I could have used cheats to do it and so I would have made it much faster but I didn't want to just in case it would have broken something in the end but uh 
yeah. And then we got back here, and I restarted. I also thought about, like, removing a couple of videos and starting coming from a really fresh spirit temple. But, uh, again, decided against that, too. Decided to keep everything in. And now this project is complete. Don't worry. I'm going to make backups on everything. I have a backup flash drive, and I'm going to put all the videos here, even unedited. So I make sure that this project will be finished, and I'm not going to lose another computer in the process. There's Epona, by the way, running around. So, yeah. So I'm going to make sure that uh, everything will get uploaded. And this will be over. And I don't have to do it again for the third time. Okay, that scared me for a second. But now we're going to do the giant festival. Look at the festival of flames. And everyone's happy. And I don't know which timeline this is. But I'm guessing it's the seven years one before the first the first timeline but then maybe not I don't know The Happy Mask Salesman, I wonder if he's going to have a plot line later. There's a big Goron that we never got to see. They decided to go meet up at the top of Death Mountain for some reason. Man, I am so happy this is over. I wonder how many videos it's gonna be. I did a lot of recording in the past couple of days, because I was like, I don't wanna get left off and not finish something because some dungeons can take forever. I'm really surprised Ganondorf and Ganon only took me one shot. Okay, I'm black for some reason. <laughs> I'm confused too, just as you. That's kind of funny and it isn't really going to make a difference. Hopefully. That's just funny. And then all of a sudden, Navi just leaves. I, I don't understand why. But that's, you know, and then all of a sudden we're all alone. We're back at the temple, the temple, the Hyrule Castle grounds, courtyard. There's little young Zelda. Before this whole adventure began. Hi. I wonder if Zelda has any idea that she knows, but, uh, okay, well, that's glitched up, but that's okay. It's just going to show that, you know, the end right there. It still shows the end on there, at least, and that's it. That's the project all done at last. My first public Let's Play project is now complete, and it will stay complete. So, I guess my death counter... Can I do anything? I can 
reset in real and we can find out how many deaths I actually suffered and not end on the reset on the, the end screen because why not soft reset because I was wrong it doesn't take you back to the top screen 122 deaths and I think I only suffered like 15 in the child section so I literally died over 100 times as an adult you know shows what I know I guess kids are better than adults although the kids only had to go through three dungeons while the adult had to go through like eight anyway this has been Pika Pika Happy Face playing my uh, freaking hell the legend of zelda the ocarina of time master quest three heart run and next time will be something different because it's over no more this is actually interesting because this is my first public let's play i've actually finished and uh i don't know how to close one apparently <laughs> so this is pretty new territory for me anyway See you later. This one's done.